It's my quest to answer the questions that the skeptics raise and that I often have myself. I'm a journalist. I like to find stories. And so my way of responding to the questions they raise is to go out and, and look for the real world answers to them in search of a faith that matters. This is a book of stories. It's about 10 different places. Five of them take place here in the United States. Five of them in other countries. This book actually came out of an experience we had in Mumbai. I was on a book tour. Well, that happened to be the night that terrorists attacked 10 different sites, hotels, train station, uh, different sites in Mumbai, and over 160 people were killed. This is pain, and life includes pain. Sometimes it includes the, the big scale pain, as I saw in Mumbai, or as we see when tragedies happen. I spent a lot of my time as an author trying to learn what helps at a time like that, what kind of comfort that we can offer. And so often the kind of people I write about and interview on the front lines are those compassionate people who leave everything behind, give themselves to bring practical help and comfort. One of the best things we can do to people suffering is to tell them, you're not alone. We feel your pain with you. I have found that, that a time of pain and suffering can be a time when we are forced to, to stop in our tracks and to ask ourselves what really matters. I, I had my own experience like that. It was a wintry day and uh, I hit a patch of ice and suddenly the, the car I was driving in started turning over and over and over. And the doctor came to me and said, your neck is broken in such a way that it's right next to a major artery. If a piece of the bone has punctured that artery, you're not going to make it. So here's a cell phone. You should call the people that you love and tell them goodbye. I have found that faith does matter, that it does make a difference, and that for all of its problems, uh, Christian faith and God's love can, can be a part of transforming and bringing new life to an individual and a whole society. I believe that more strongly than ever after going through the process of writing this book.